Welcome to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Daily Truths. So Jesus gives some pretty straightforward words about marriage and divorce. And it's found in this passage. It's Matthew chapter 5, verses 31 and 32. Listen to this. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you, everyone who divorces his wife, except on the ground of sexual immorality, makes her commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Wow. Those are pretty straightforward, clear-cut words, aren't they? Now, why did Jesus say this? Well, in Old Testament times, if a man wanted to divorce his wife, he could do it for any reason, you know, for the burnt toast, or or maybe uh, she overslept, or maybe she uh, she wasn't taking care of the kids like he thought she should, and all this kind of stuff. And so men wrote divorces in Old Testament times in civil court for very frivolous reasons. So Jesus here is saying, hey, let me give you a new law regarding how marriage is to be edified and strengthened and what you ought not to do. And so he talks about sexual immorality being the reason why you can permit a divorce to take place. Well, what's he talking about sexual immorality? He's talking about unfaithfulness during an engagement or unfaithfulness during marriage or incestuous relationships or number four, an unrepented marital unfaithfulness. So that's what he's talking about when he talks about sexual immorality. And he's saying in those kinds of cases, yes, it is permitted for a man or a woman to get a divorce. However, is that God's ultimate will? Jesus is elevating marriage to a very high status here. And in the Old Testament, God even said, I hate divorce. So divorce is never the ultimate option, right? What is reconciliation? And so Jesus here is emphasizing, even if you've been unfaithful, if a person has been unfaithful, there's still restoration, forgiveness, uh, reconciliation that should take place. So here's the bottom line. If you are married to a person who has been unfaithful, indeed, you can get, you are biblically permitted to get a divorce. However, the ultimate answer to that would be to be reconciled, to forgive one another from the heart and to move on in that relationship. These are not popular words in this day and age because people get divorces for all kinds of reasons that are unbiblical. But here, and really there's two different biblical reasons why we can pork, um, receive a divorce. And they are number one, marital unfaithfulness, and number two, desertion. Beyond that, reconciliation should take place. And even if a person has been unfaithful in the ways we've already documented, reconciliation still should be worked on and we should do whatever we can to restore the relationship. So tomorrow, since Jesus talks about this so straightforwardly, I'm going to be sharing five biblical ways to strengthen your marriage. And I hope you tune in. So that's today's Daily Truth. Have a great day in Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.